What's up? Today we're gonna drive through Midway a little bit and talk about careers and trying to figure out what you wanna be when you're just a teenager. If you're anything like me, that was one of the most overwhelming things I had to contemplate when I was in high school. Now I know this isn't a motorcycle topic, but I think it's really important and I want to put stuff out there to help some of the younger generation. And like I said, trying to decide what to do with my life when I was like 15 was just, that was crazy. I remember thinking, how do you decide on something that you have to be for like li literally your entire life? It was such an overwhelming feeling. So I want to tell you about my journey. So I always really liked science and I did really well at math. I focused in those areas when I was in high school and uh, kind of investigated those types of career paths. So I thought about being a doctor, um, you know, like a surgeon, ophthalmologist, um, everyday general doctor. I, I also thought I wanted to do crime scene investigation. Um, ultimately, I ended up focusing in engineering and that was because growing up I was always tinkering with stuff so we would have like scrap wood laying around or different craft things and I would always be picking those things up and just making these oddball things I made like a little uh, house frame one time it was like a little sign in the yard it was really dumb in building things. I always wanted to create and make my own stuff. So one day my mom mentioned engineering. I had never heard about it before. I looked into it, said, what the hell, I'll give it a shot. And lucky for me, it worked out. It was a perfect fit. Never underestimate your parents. You know, they're really annoying when you're in middle school, high school, but believe it or not, they know what the hell they're talking about. And um, they would love to help you figure out what you want to do. So, one of the things that I wish I had done is signed up for more extracurricular classes and activities. As much as I hated it when my mom would put me in these camps over the summer, I am super grateful that she did because it helped me um, explore different areas of interest and got me out of my shell. If you have the opportunity, sign up for some camps that expose you to the things that you really love and maybe even some of the things that you're not sure about. This will help you uh, kind of get exposure to these things for a little bit of a longer time period and help you decide if you could do those things long term, you know, from five to ten years down the road. Now, this can be done whether you're in high school or college. So if you're, you know, a freshman, sophomore in college and you're still not totally sure, you can do the same thing. And in fact, there's a lot of extracurricular classes or minors that you can sign up for. Don't be afraid to take one of those classes because it'll really help you figure out if you could do that every single day or not. Another thing that I did and wish I could have done more of is job shadowing. So for me, doing hands-on activities, it really helped me learn the most about what I liked and didn't like. And um, I just remember, you know, reading job descriptions or career descriptions and thinking, 
gosh, this is just a bunch of words. What does this mean for day-to-day -day work? I had a really hard time translating that description into something that I would be doing every single day. If you can get out there and job shadow friends, um, you know, family, whoever, reach out to companies that you think you like. Just see if you can go and shadow someone for a day or two just to get a little bit of exposure into what their day-to-day -day interactions and activities are like. to try new things when you're getting to this point in life um, remember that trying new things are really gonna expose you to something that you haven't seen before decision doesn't mean that you have to be stuck in that for the rest of your life. Keep an open mind and think about things in a little bit more of a uh, short term <laughs> uh, short term aspect. You know, ask yourself, can I do this for five to ten years? Instead of thinking of it as, oh my god, I'm doing this for 50 years straight. What am I going to do if it's the wrong decision? You can make changes you can move into different career paths. It's all about the experiences that you make and how you can translate that into what's useful for an employer.